Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a plan with me, and last week I did an Erin Condren plan with me. So this week I'm doing a B6 plan with me. So this is my Boxy Fix number no. five sugar icing, and I got the wide and everything like that. I have a setup, and I will link that above. But I am doing a setup probably in the next month or two, a new one or a flip through. So I'm excited to do that, but. That is not what this video is about. This video is about this week. And so I am going to be planning in my Foxy Fix, but I am going to be using a kit from a Little Miss Papery. All right, so these are the week on four pages dated inserts. So it has like your sidebar and then your five days of the week and then your weekend and then happy thought next week notes, priorities, don't forget to do and work to do. And I'm putting a paper clip here because when I first did it, like my first week I tried it, I just did like a mock spread. And when I did it, I like just screwed it all up because I accidentally, this fell out, so I put it here. Just a whole fiasco. But So the kit I'm going to be using is this really pretty kit from Little Miss Papery. And this is her Easter kit. And if you use the code Amanda PR15, you will get 15% off. And then you will also get my freebie, which is exclusive to my PR code. But this kit is, I just picked up the glossy mini kit. And the first thing you get is exclusive kit freebie deco, which is really cute, glitter headers, and then your basic Little Miss Papery five page mini kit. And this mini kit is perfect for how I plan. So yes, we are going to get into it. I'm excited. I have kind of a lot to talk about. I am going to do my sidebar. I don't know. I have this Happy Easter. So I don't really know what I want to do. I think I'm going to put that on the weekend, like actually on Easter. So I think my sidebar sticker will be this guy. So I'm going to put that down. It's weird not starting with my date cover. Or not my date covers. I'm sorry. My washi. I had my whole setup. I was, my lights were up, my camera was charged, my camera was on. I was about to sit down and film and then my tripod fell over and it caused, because I have a strap that I put on for Disneyland. So, so I'm just doing my typical sidebar. So I have the strap and everything and then all of a sudden, or I put the strap around this like little cubed piece of art like you know those wooden things here i'll grab it it's let me try not to knock anything over so it's like this so my strap was just around that just to kind of so the strap wasn't all up like in the frame and then i'm going to take these bows from clever girl crafts these are in believe in the silver foil and this little duo is inspired by christy plans i'll link her down below i've been obsessed with all of her videos lately in her Instagram and everything like that. She just uploaded today a like spring setup video and it was so pretty. I loved watching it. So definitely go check her out. But so I had the strap around the little wooden piece and it fell over and it shattered my anthropology like little mini candle. So I spent like the last hour vacuuming because I'm so paranoid and I have to use undo. That's I'm just gonna put a little bow there and this will be to track the hours I student teach this week so this week I'm in the classroom student teaching slash observing I have to teach nine lessons when I'm in the field so this week I probably won't just to kind of get a feel for everything so and then I'm just gonna take this checklist from Shop Jessica Hearts. This is from the Fresh Start kit. And I'm just gonna cut this to three and put it down here. So I'm gonna put that here and that's perfect because it will just line up right there. But I don't know if you guys remember, but in my rewind plan with me for California, I talked briefly, briefly, briefly about when we were on our way to San Diego, we listened to a podcast called Dirty John. And that podcast is just, it's like, I think five or six episodes. Perfect. That's really cute. I might bookend this. I'm not sure yet, but 
we'll see. So I'm just going to do my full boxes. So I think I want these two on the weekend. I was talking about a podcast called Dirty John and it's just this murder podcast. It's really good. It was very intriguing and the first clip or the first episode in the first couple minutes where they talked about um, the autopsy, but they didn't say who was murdered. So long story short, um, I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody, but if you do like podcasts or you even do like murders, it sounds like creepy, but I love like Law & Order SVU and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed this podcast and it's really good, but I started and I was like, okay, I like really like podcasts because it's different than watching. It's kind of like listening to music. And so I can like listen to them in the car and a lot of podcasts, depends who you're listening to, but some podcasts are like 30 minutes. So then it's like a perfect amount of time because it's like a 30 minute drive to class. So every morning I listen to podcasts now. And I will put some of the ones I listen, I'll put them down below, but they're really good. They're free. It's not like, like in a book or anything, like you have to subscribe or anything. So I really have been enjoying them. I just love, they're very educational. They talk about self-confidence and emotions and flipping your emotions, like flipping stress and jealousy and different things like that. So I don't know, I really like it. I honestly, I just feel better after hearing them or listening to them. And I just really enjoy them. So I definitely recommend podcasts. So I'm going to be using these Simply Watercolor Co. foiled bow headers. And I'm just gonna be putting one of these on top of each full box. And these are so cute. I forgot I had these because they're newer. And I was going through my collection and I saw these, I was like, yup. Cause I didn't know if I wanted to do the glitter ones that come with the kit foil or marbles, regular foiled, plaid foiled. So I didn't really know, but I saw these and I was like, yep. So this week's kind of weird. I'm nervous. Like I'm really excited, but I'm also really, really nervous. So I will be in the classroom Monday to Thursday this week because it's good Friday. So I don't have class. Or I don't have school, I guess you could call it. And then next week I'm on like my spring break because that school, the school I'm student teaching at is on spring break. So I'm kind of excited. I need a second spring break. But I won't, I mean, I'll use it. I'll take advantage of my second spring break. But I will most likely be working on lesson plans and papers because I have to write a paper about the class prior to teaching them and stuff and then a couple of lessons. So I'm gonna find out on Monday about the standards they're on and the curriculum that they use. I'll take it, I'll be able to sleep in, but I'll be hitting traffic because I have to be there at 7.30. So hold on, now I'm confused. Okay, right? Is this, no, that's not right. Uh-uh, that's not right. See, that's where I got confused. Okay, let me just paper this whole thing together. See, that's what happens. It's really easy to get confused. And then I have glitter headers from the kit that I don't know if I wanna use, but maybe I will. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, I don't know if I should do glitter headers. Just at the top. Maybe I'll just do one at the top. I'll do the pink, cause this pink is really pretty. But I filmed a PR plan with me, so I just, or not a PR plan with me, I'm sorry, a PR Etsy haul, so all the shops that I have like a discount code for, or a, or my PR girl for, I filmed that and I was editing it, and some of the footage got deleted and I have no idea where it went. And that's never happened to me, luckily. Knock on wood, like hopefully it won't continue but I felt like I wanted to walk around my room and look for it because it just, it was weird not losing something that wasn't physical. But I did look all over my computer. I went through Time Machine and stuff like that, but I guess it just went bye-bye. So I just have to, some of it is still there, so I just have to refilm it. So I just put my other Etsy haul 
up, which is totally fine. I just kind of wanted that other one up first, which I don't know why I had a preference. I hope I like the glitter headers. But yeah, these inserts are new to me as well because I kind of liked not having a sidebar in the other inserts, but I like how long these are. I just feel like I have more room. So the first in the morning, I'm going to mark the student teaching and I'm gonna take this box. And this is just from the kit. And I'm going to take a little script I can find them. I have these from Arctic Paper Studio and I thought so I'm gonna put that here. Hopefully it's sticky. Okay, cool. And then I am, because it's my first day student teaching, I'm going to take a student teaching sticker that Rose Colored Days customized for me. Perfect. And then, but I have a meeting at or after just to meet with my professor. So I'm going to use a meeting sticker from Rose Colored Days. I have this washi strip right here and I'm just going to cut it down just a little bit with my X-Acto knife. I did see the movie Love, Simon this week. It was amazing. I loved it. It's not your typical, it is a love story, but it's your not your typical love story. So it was really, really sweet. Such a good ending. And I also, I've been really into movies lately. I don't know why. Um, I've never really been able, or I don't really usually like movies. I don't know why. But I'd rather, I don't know. It depends what movie it is. That's a lie. I like movies. It just, mm, my my mom and I, we have different taste in movies. So sometimes the movies she makes, she movies she makes me watch, not my fave. So I guess maybe that's why I'm kind of weird with movies. And I also watched Patriot's Day, which was amazing. It was such like a phenomenal movie. Oh my goodness. Probably, it was just so, so good. I loved it. So I'm going to take one of these flags from Clever Girl Crafts, and this is in the colorway Millie. I'm going to put a flag right here at the bottom. And, okay, I'm going to use one of these from Rose Color, or no, I'm sorry. These are from Clever Girl Crafts in Getting and Spending with the Sophie colorway in silver. And this will be to mark Happy Mail. I have an order from Ribbon and Nib. So I'll just write ribbon and nib there. And then I work, I babysit Monday. So I'm gonna take these from Piper Paper Company and these are her newer, or her new script stickers. And I think they're super cute. I have so many of them. And that was one of the, so this was in the haul, so it's kind of why I wanted to put the other haul up first because I knew I wanted to start using the stickers very soon. So I'm gonna put the next today underneath the full box. I love the colors of this kit. Okay, I'm gonna take these bows from Clever Gal Crafts in the Stella colorway and I'm gonna put it right here and that will just be to mark student teaching. And then I actually do have my class that day because like my new class started, which I mentioned last week, and we either have an online Tuesday or Thursday. So we have an in-class on Tuesday. So that's it for I'm gonna really mark for Tuesday, just because I don't know. I guess I can mark laundry on Tuesday. Or I'll mark laundry with this really cute daily chore sticker from the kit. Put that right here. I'll just center that. And then the same thing for Wednesday. I don't know if I should put my today header up. Maybe I will do that. Just for the cohesiveness so it has a little structure. But I'm scared that 
the Today sticker won't go back down because of the paper that's used. So we'll wait for that to dry before I put another one. So for the most part, I will student teach Monday to Friday, 8 to 10. Or I'm sorry, 8 to 12. So Wednesday, that's literally all I have. And then Thursday, I'm going to do the same thing. And I don't know if I babysit or I work Thursday this week or Friday this week because... Friday is my day off due to it being Good Friday or not in school. So, I'm going to take a day off sticker because it's going to be an adjustment. Just because usually I'm in class from 8 to 12, so I'm like sitting down, but now I'll be like moving around and going crazy and having fun. So I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'll be doing lessons and stuff like that and helping out the teacher. I'm just going to take a plain purple label. I'm going to move this down. And I'm not going to be using date covers because I love the font that Jesenia uses with these inserts. I hope my head's not in the frame. See, I don't know if it's going to stay. Hopefully. Let me put another bow. And then I do have a video going live on Thursday. It's going to be some video. I don't know what, but it's going to be a video. But I want it to be my PR video. So I will put... Wednesday, I want to film and like edit the rest of it. So I'm going to put that here. And these are from Simply Watercolor Co. These are one of her, I believe, $2 Tuesdays, but she has a special name for them because it's like a foiled $2 Tuesday. So it's really cute. It's just a little quarter box with a bow. Okay, I'm going to actually change this. I'm going to put this at the bottom. Okay, I'm putting this down here because I will do the other video up here. And I don't want them to be like two next to each other, if that makes sense. Even though like all this is structured, I'm weird. So that's it for that and okay. I'll go to the weekend. So for the weekend, I have my weekend banner that I wanna use and this is the weekend banner from the kit. Super cute. And then Saturday I'm going to plan. And I want to take this sticker. This is from new, My Newest Addiction with the Planner sophistic Sophisticate. This just says plan next week with a silver foil. Because I'm doing a collab video. I'm going to take this box. Just a half box. There and then mark next week really excited yeah so my video will go live on Sunday so I'm thinking how I want to mark that I'm gonna take one of these flags from clever gal crafts and Millie they're just the ones with the scattered hearts and I guess I could have put the today but I'm wondering if that would be too cluttered I'll layer it. I think I want to move this weekend banner up a little bit. Okay, actually, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to take this up and rearrange. Okay, so I just peeled that up. I'm going to put the weekend banner down and I might be placing it the same exact spot. I think it's a little higher. See, that's not sticky. That's all, yep, it's not. Let me know if you guys find that it's not super sticky. I have found that with might just be the paper right now okay I'll wait but I have found that it doesn't once you peel it up even with undo it's not sticky at all so I'm gonna take my plan next week 
and put that down here. I'm gonna put the flag right there. Cute. And just sending it from the Planner Sophisticate did this and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put some washi tape. So I'm gonna use my Simply Gilded washi tape. But first I'm gonna wipe these out. This on the bottom. So I need to use my X-Acto knife. That's super cute. And then I'm going to use another piece of washi. I'm gonna take some of the other washi because I won't be using it. I'm just cutting it like that because I'm going to cut it down and trim it to put over notes and then put like happy mail there. I'm gonna take these from Rose Colored Days and just put a happy mail right there. And then for my happy thought, I'm gonna take this from the original mini quotes from Let's Make It Sparkle and it says, create your own destiny and I'm gonna take a little heart from Clever Girl Crafts. This is a Sophie colorway. I'm gonna layer it just the smallest amount. I'm gonna do a bow right here. And I'm gonna be using this little clipboard from Clever Gal Crafts. This is the Singles Club Volume 11 in Sophie. And I'm gonna put that on a quarter box because I have a lot of room. And I have a lot of boxes I haven't used. And I'm just gonna put that right there just to mark that assignment due. All right, so this is how it turned out. This is what I have so far. Obviously it will grow just because I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I love how it turned out. I'm obsessed with the pastels, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love the silver foil. I'm glad I went with that and also the bow headers. I think it's so cute. I'm just obsessed and I really like this washi touch. So I'm excited and I'm really happy to see how this kit turns out. So I hope you guys in, oh, there's a little sneak. I hope you guys enjoyed that and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, my life stuck on paper and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.